focus on digital currencies for you know a couple decades. Digital currencies for you know a couple decades. We, this is something we've been focused on digital currencies for you know a couple decades. Right. But you can implement it with a digital currency. This is the hidden agenda. But they got to do two things: one, roll out the CBDC, which they're doing, and and get rid of cash. Those two things will go hand in hand. But we will end up worse than communist China. Communist China, if you're on the bad list, you can't. Um, it's a social credit score. Yeah. You can't buy a plane ticket. You can't buy a train ticket. You can't uh, pay for your kid to go to a good good school uh, because you're on the on the black list because yeah. you you did something on social media that said that said it's okay. Uh, but um, but that's what we're that's what we're getting to. That's the dark side of central bank digital currencies. But it's it's the real side. It's the real hidden agenda. And, and that's why every single time Jay Powell is prompted in front of Congress, the Republican Jay Powell says. We'll get back to you. Yeah. We're studying that. We're taking commentary. That I think central bank digital currencies were concocted in hell by Satan himself. Uh, they are incredible control by governments over everybody's bank account, and they are the uh, they're going to create a void of privacy for every individual citizen. I think they're horrible, but I think that's where they want to go. The first century, we may see the emergence of a new massive class of useless people. People who have absolutely no economic value. Money that can only be spent for a specific number of reasons. And some worry about that state control or whatever. But like in this particular uh, narrow use case, you want to give uh, checks to individuals to get the economy moving again. Yeah. So if you think of programmable money that expires if you don't spend and if you want to live in a global society, one of the first things you don't want is for one actor in that global society to have complete control over critical things, resources. So the point of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is they take those resources that should be kind of a public good, and if they're digitizable, get them into a situation where they're completely open and uh, basically could then build businesses on top of that, but the underlying infrastructure is no longer controlled. If you have centralization, one person basically gets to decide those rules. And uh, oftentimes those become very anti-competitive and they actually become anti-consumer and they end up hurting people or exposing people to um, a lot of market failures. Do you think we're coming to the end of nation state power? And if so, what kind of global structures are going to evolve? So I don't really view it as let's get rid of the nation state. What happens is you can start taking lots of government services and put them into a structure where they have radical transparency. Suddenly, all of your tax revenue is open source, and everybody can look at it and see where the money's going. At the end of the day, you have less friction, less fraud, less waste, less abuse, more transparency, and ultimately less consolidation of power. China doesn't have a back door. America doesn't have a back door. If it's truly a permissionless ledger, the poorest person, the, the most vulnerable person, has equal access to, the, to as the president of the United States does. There's never been a time in human history that that's been the case. Well, how many countries in the world are actually considering this at this moment in time? Yeah, a lot have. You know, For, for example, the concept of a digital government, uh, Estonia has been one of the world leaders there. The country of Georgia is also pursuing it. Blockchain is a very powerful thing, and almost every country has done some form of pilot for a blockchain-based system to store these types of things. It really comes down to, are you going to do it in a permissionless way or a permission way? In other words, will the country control the ledger, or will that ledger be an open global ledger uh, and we've seen countries explore. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And you know I come back with that video just to make you think. And we know it's order out of chaos. We see every country moving over to blockchain and cryptocurrency. But we also see a lot of countries in chaos. America should be in chaos. But they're so spoiled. We see America crumbling, but the people are too distracted. I'm going to be doing a video on Patreon on that subject next week. But guys, we see that farmers across the globe are being restricted. Your food supply. We can see the weather manipulation. That's going to cause more and more droughts. So over the next two years, we're going to see a food shortage, water shortage, energy crisis, just to bring in the fourth industrial revolution. We see young kids over in Africa, all over the emerging markets, digging for commodities because that's the only way they will be able to eat. And the same thing is going to happen to America. The only way they're going to be able to do certain jobs 
is to be brought down to their knees. And that's exactly why the NWO is going to destroy America to Babylon. Remember, blockchain gives the NWO the all seeing eye. These central bank digital currencies will be able to tell you what, where, and when and how to buy. So any company who's working for the central banks, any company is helping the central bank digital currencies are helping the banks surveil the world. Guys, we know the banks are the biggest what? I'm going to let you finish that. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. You have a wonderful day. Is, creates a great platform for everybody to participate equally. I mean, fairly and equally. Because if, you, if everybody participates, then they all have a pretty good shot at participating in this. This is going to be the biggest deal in the history of the universe. We have never seen a technology that, is, that can potentially affect this many trillion dollar industries. Never. And this is going to be it. And, and you want everybody to be able to participate. So if somehow you put a law in there that says you've got to be a millionaire to participate, no, 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 oh, no. well, that's what the law does no, say. No, no, you know that's no, no, what no, it says. But, but you Wait, it is what it says. First say that. No, it says, it says, no, 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 no. I'm going to, I'm okay. going to, no, oh. no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no me, I know where you're going. No, no, you know. I know where you're going. Let me okay. See. Look, I think that the, what we're seeing happen with stable coins, what we're seeing happening with central bank issued digital assets, I think is exciting. I'm not exactly clear how it's all going to play out. You're seeing countries experiment and test. Uh, Ripple has partnered with several uh, central banks around the world. Some we've announced, some we haven't yet announced, that they're issuing uh, and testing using the XRP ledger to issue their digital assets on the XRP ledger as a, as a token. We're going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols? Who un controls the underlying standards? of the future of money will control the future of money. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see the fourth industrial revolution, 
foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z. Part 